in the spiritual world many people are in bondage means their spirit life their invisible life is addicted and it's bound by devil and it's bound by the demons so the question is not whether you are in the spiritual world the question is who are you in the spiritual world a prisoner a poor person or a prosperous person God wants you in the spiritual world not to be a prisoner of demons curses and the devil and God wants you in the spiritual world not just to be a poor person meaning that you just simply live your life as though God does not exist live your life religiously little check mark I prayed little check mark I read the Bible little check mark I fasted little check mark I gave my 10% when I felt like it little check mark I came to church when I wasn't busy and you're looking at yourself you're like man I am doing good spiritually no you're doing good religiously but to do good spiritually you have to do something not something more but there has to be something more there than just religious activities that Buddhists do Muslims do Hindus do and so many other religions do and some of them are even more successful in the religion and in the relationship in the spiritual world than we are to be prosperous spiritually what does it mean it means to be a disciple of the Holy Spirit so that you can dominate your natural world to be prosperous spiritually means you are disciple of the Holy Spirit so you can influence your world the one that you are living in to be prosperous spiritually does not just mean having a devotional life though that is important it's not just speaking in tongues though that is extremely important it's not just giving it's important it's not just inviting people to church highly important but you can do all of these things and not be under influence of the Holy Spirit and not be in partnership with the Holy Spirit you are a spiritual being you have thoughts which cannot be seen and you have to belong connect to the world that is invisible it's completely normal completely cool and it's completely trendy Hindus do that do you know why Hindus Buddhists and so many religions meditation and a lot of the uh, the eastern practices and even a lot of the yoga things that they do all of these things where they connect to a spiritual world and a lot of them even get results some of them see healings I met one Muslim guy and I remember I was telling him I'm like you Muslims are going to hell because you don't have miracles he's like my grandpa raised a person from the dead I was like never mind you guys are going to hell because for other reasons <laughs> But you can't come up to other religions and use this whole idea well you guys are not real religion because you guys don't have miracles you'll be shocked and surprised of the miracles the Hindus will tell you about why do they have these miracles because they are understand understanding their spiritual and they connect to spiritual powers now unfortunately it's not the power of the Holy Spirit it's the power of the enemy who does certain limited miracles of course at the expense of taking things that their life depends on we as Christians must live a successful spiritual life. Spiritual world created natural world. Spiritual world can control natural world. Spiritual world can accelerate natural world. Spiritual world can neutralize natural world. Spiritual world can reverse natural world. Natural world, the one we see is at the mercy of the world we don't. The world you see is at the mercy of the world you don't. And the world you don't see is the world you are in right now with your heart, your thoughts and your mind. Who you really are is not a visible person. What you see right now, your skin and that's why you can never base your self-esteem on your appearance. So what? You gain 10 pounds. That's not who you are. And this is not just positive little thinking that you have to tell yourself to make yourself feel good. No, that is actually who you are. If you don't believe it, take a look at the picture of someone loved who passed away and look at them. That's not them. That is not who you are, what you see in the mirror or on a weight scale. The real you is the invisible, cannot be seen by natural eye. And you are in that world right now. The question is, who are you connected in that world?